Hey everyone, so there may be many things in this life that I am not good at, but the one thing that I know that I've got down is winged liner. Mainly thanks to my emo years, but let's swiftly move on. I can't do my makeup without my brows, they help me with my eyeshadow and eyeliner placement. You've seen me map out my eyeshadow many times before and the same rule applies here with liner. So fill in your brows first and then follow the curve of your eye and use your lower lash line and tail of your brow as a guide. Now on to actually drawing the wing. Some people use card or stencils or tape but honestly I find my dot technique to be the easiest method. Basically I use two mediums, a felt tip liner pen and then a liquid, but you could swap out the liquid for a gel, this is just my preference. I begin by making a series of dots along my upper lash line using different parts of my eye as a guide and I won't go into detail about dot placement as I already have a full video on that method and I'll link it below, but basically I make about seven little dots across my eye area and then I join the dots together. Finally then, to complete the cat eye shape, I draw a line from my lower lash line up towards the end of the brow so that it connects with the line above and that creates the outline of the winged liner. And believe it or not, that's actually the hard part done. So my main tip is to draw the outline first. Then once you perfect that, you can trace over it with your medium of choice, whether it be liquid, gel or cake liner. I know myself, I love liquid liner, but it's a fluid product. It can be hard not to make mistakes, which is why I find setting the guideline down first helps massively. Those of you with hooded eyes might find this tip in particular helpful, but make sure that you apply the liner with your eyes open. Depending on your eye shape, if you perfect your liner with your eyes closed and you think, yes, this is fantastic, then when you open your eyes, it's all wobbly and a completely different shape because of how the skin sits. So do it with your eyes open. It doesn't matter how it looks when the eyes are closed, as long as the shape flows nicely with your eyes open. If you can't get that razor sharp tail, don't worry. Use a pointed cotton bud and some makeup remover and clean up the tail to make it extra sharp. If you do your eyes after your foundation, you will have removed some of your base makeup, but again, not to worry, add a little concealer to cover up the patch and this will give the wing that extra bit of definition as well. Similarly, if you can't get the shape of the wing right in general, do your best with the outline and then clean up the wing as a whole using a cotton bud and some makeup remover and again, the pointed ones work best. If you don't have those products handy, you can use concealer alone to perfect your liner. Just make sure the concealer that you use is full coverage. I like to use a flat brush to apply the concealer alongside the tail. I stamp the product down and then I pull the brush downwards to blend the product out. Or you can just use your fingers and pat over the area to help melt the product into the skin. Then all you've got to do is apply a little of your face powder back over top of the concealer to set it in place and then that's it. So let's say now you've spent ages blending your shadow and then decided to apply a winged liner and messed it up. Well, if the lid is neutral, you're in luck, it can be fixed relatively easily. Go over the area you want to correct with some concealer. I'm using a small eyeliner brush now to apply the product and once you've covered your mistakes add a little bit of powder to set the concealer in place and then reapply your shadow to cover up that little patch. This technique though really only works with a light shade across the lid like a cream for instance. If you know that there's a possibility that you may mess up but you want a winged liner and eyeshadow combination and it's not a neutral look you're going for, don't worry, draw your guideline first and don't fill it in. Go ahead and apply your shadow and blend it all out as normal and then go back and fill in the shape. You don't want to put the liquid or gel on before the eyeshadow because I find with the buffing motions of the brush this can cause the liquid to crack or the gel to fade so that's why I've went about it in that way and you'll have perfect winged liner every time. If you are still having no look and you think your liner looks awful but you still want to rock a wing Try a smoky liner, honestly it's so easy to do, it's foolproof, you can't mess it up because personally I think the smokier the better. I also have a full in-depth tutorial on this look and I'll link that below, but basically you want to take a black eyeshadow on an angled brush, create your cat eye, 
blend the shadow out with a pencil brush and then reapply the black eyeshadow, but this time keep it close to the lash line. And you can repeat this process as many times as you like, build up the intensity gradually, you just want there to be a fade upwards from black to grey. But then that's it! So I hope you found some of these tips helpful. If you did, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up or leaving me a comment below. And I'll catch you all soon.